talk to me a little bit about what you've been thinking about since Hamas, which, by the way, is not just one among other one among many Palestinian organizations. It is an organization that is committed and has been committed to the destruction of Israel for a very, very long time. Um, but your thoughts since Hamas launched this bloody, brutal, barbaric terrorist attack on Israel last week? I'm concerned. Well, concerned. As you say, Charlie, we're running out of words. Right. Words fail. Um, I think uh, my colleague at the Atlantic, Elliot Cohen, subbed it up really well when he said, this is civilization against the barbarians. Yeah. And not just in the Middle East. I mean, you know, Armenia, Ukraine, um, that, you know, that there are parts of the planet where, um, you know, the bad guys are making a run for it. Right. They are, they are, and I thought this was, I, maybe because of, you know, I, I'm not a Middle East guy and I, mm-hmm. and I look at, you know, the rest of the map. Um, to me, the, the, the Hamas war, Hamas's attack on Israel, to me, fit into this, this larger trend of just horrific groups and state leaders who are just deciding to test the international system until it breaks um, to just burn things to see if they can if they can do it. I mean, how, I mean the our, guys who our this, enemies are really testing all of these things. I mean, there there does appear it. to be, right. um, you know, hate to uh, you know bring back the whole axis of evil, but you can see uh, the way that Russia and China and Iran and Hamas are all testing the United States are all really, you know, in a very, very aggressive stance trying to figure I mean, out. Hamas you know, planned this for a long time, very long time, right? Long time. They, they didn't, they didn't plan this saying, gosh, I, I, I we have no idea what the international reaction could be. Mm-hmm. Um, they knew, I think, and yeah. I think in fact, they were trying um, when, you know, when, um, when I used to teach about terrorism at the war college, we always brought up the issue of drawing the foul. That one of the things terrorists try to do is to pull the target state into being as ghastly as they are, so, yeah. you know, so that they can kind of pull, draw the foul and tell, you know, their audience, t- tell the multiple audiences who are watching there, see, they're as bad as we are, um, or our cause is just because they're, they're doing right. this. And I think, you know, I, I don't, I'm, I could not even begin to know how Israel should respond. I mean, my my gut feeling is the same as everybody else's. This this organization yeah. has to be destroyed. Right. Um, but there, as you say, the the price, the 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 damage is going to be high. Uh, but I think that's again part of a trend around the world of saying we are going to push until it breaks because you know the internet because you people, you countries who defend the international, what the Americans now call the international rules-based order, you've actually been pretty good at this and it's really constrained us. Um, And we want to break that rules-based international order and, and go back to, you know, um, to, and go back to chaos. And I think, excuse me. And I think that's part of what's, what's happening here is that this is a deliberate attempt in in Israel, a deliberate attempt not not just to you know push back the Israeli. I mean, it's a t- it's an attempt to yeah. create horror and terror, right? And to cr- and to and to soak the region in that chaotic um, um, terror. 